If you've ever shown up to play and realized that you forgot your plunger mute at home, well, this video is for you. What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Rozepka and today is Mute Monday. If you're new around here, welcome. Mute Monday is a weekly series where I discuss and demonstrate different trumpet mutes. Today I am talking about the plunger mute and what to do if you show up to the gig or to rehearsal, well, and you've forgotten it at home. For some reason, it didn't make it into your case. Well, you still have to play your part and you still have to do that plunger effect. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just use your hand? I've seen a lot of people do that. I've done it myself. What's the most effective solution? Now, I've got a couple things here in front of me that you may have in your trumpet case or uh, at the venue where you're playing, especially if you're playing at a club, a restaurant somewhere, um, you know, they're gonna have cups and whatnot. So um, I've got right here an adjustable cup mute and uh, then I've got a CD, all right? A lot of you might have CDs lying around. And uh, well, here's a mug. And then last but not least, I've got a martini glass and well, have you ever tried to use any of these as a plunger? I have seen uh, Wynton Marsalis use a uh, glass as a plunger in a, in a jazz club in Cleveland years ago. I remember hearing Wynton sit in at uh, Nighttown, which is a great jazz club in Cleveland Heights, and he went to play a tune and he wanted to use a plunger. He was playing Caravan, I believe, and he didn't have a plunger with him. So he grabbed a glass off of the table and Man, he wailed, and I just saw that, and it got me thinking, it's like, wow, he knew what the sound was that he wanted, and he knew what he was trying to create. He didn't have the tool with him that he wanted, uh, but he still made it work. And that got me thinking over the years about all the different items we could use as a plunger mute uh, if we forget it at home. And there have been times that I have forgotten my plunger mute at home, and I've needed it. So um, here's a couple different solutions. Now, I mentioned the adjustable cup mute. This is a mute that I always have with me, the Dennis Wick Adjustable Cup Mute. It is such a great cup mute and one of the most popular ones out there. Now here is a trick. If you forget your plunger mute at home, take your mute, take it apart, flip that upside down, boom, just like that. You've got a nice, you can play it upside down. All right, you see that? Just like that. Really works very well. Next up then, uh, I mentioned a CD. So got one of my albums here, take that out. This is about the same size as the bell. Check that out. So uh, have you ever tried that? Well, we're gonna hear how it sounds. Now, of course, I've got a mug here and the mug, this is so much smaller than the bell, uh, but it's got a little handle on it. So maybe that's gonna work. And the martini glass, uh, this right here, you gotta be careful with it because it's glass. And this one's actually pretty fragile, but uh, you know what? It's shaped like a little plunger mute. So um, that might just work. This one here is very similar in size to some of these smaller plunger mutes that are on the market. So um, let's hear how all of these sound. Now, first off, I'm gonna play something with my KR Indigo Max plunger. This is my go-to plunger these days, and uh, it just sounds so great. So I'm gonna play uh, a lick on this. And then I'm gonna play the exact same thing on each one of these so you can hear what it sounds like. And I'm also gonna do it with just my hand so you can hear the difference and what effects work best with which mute. That way, if you get to the gig and you realize that you've forgotten your plunger mute at home, well, uh, all is not lost and you'll have a solution, something you can go to that's gonna get the job done for the night and uh, hopefully then you won't just forget it the next time. All right, that's enough talking. Let's hear how all of these sound.
All right, so you've just heard all these different options, and uh, what did you think? Anything there surprise you? I've got to say, the winners by far were the adjustable cup mute, uh, played upside down, and then the martini glass. Um, I've got to say, I thought the mug was going to do a lot better, um, but the mug was not good at all. Intonation problems. I think just the size of it is too small in diameter and it's too deep. Uh, so a lot of intonation issues, a lot of sound issues. It just was not a good solution. Now the CD was kind of interesting. If you hold it too close to the bell, you get this uh, buzzing, rattling sound, which might be an interesting effect. However, it's not really good slotting. Uh, it just doesn't respond so well. And because it's totally flat, uh, you don't have any depth to the sound. It just kind of covers the bell. Uh, so you can get a decent kind of uh, wah effect in the sense that you're opening and closing the sound, but you don't get that wah sound effect uh, coming through. It actually works a whole lot better just to use your hand and uh, kind of get inside of the bell and do that wah sound like that. I would say if I were in a pinch, if I forgot uh, my plunger mute at home, uh, the first thing I would do I would take my adjustable Dennis Wick cup mute, I would flip it upside down, and that's what I would use. And most adjustable cup mutes, you can do this with, actually, and uh, they don't talk about it, they don't advertise it, but um, it, in a pinch, it is a great solution uh, for that plunger sound. Now, of course, if you need to switch back to a cup mute quickly, um, that's gonna be tricky, because you're gonna have to disassemble it and flip it and put it back. Uh, however, if you've got just that one-off piece, that is your best solution. I think the next best solution is probably this martini glass right here. Uh, sounded okay, and definitely in a bar or a nightclub or somewhere, they're gonna have martini glasses. And um, this just got a nice round uh, shape to it, and it kind of is similar to a lot of the plunger mutes that are out there. Uh, mugs, stay away from mugs. Uh, put some coffee in it, that's, that's what you should be doing. Uh, that's what they're good for, but it's not good for using as a plunger. And the CD, I'm not totally sold on the CD. I'm not sure that uh, it's any better than using your hand. I think I would probably just use my hand uh, if I didn't have my cup mute with me or, or if I couldn't get one of these glasses. Um, I would probably just use my hand for that effect. The only thing is, when you're using your hand, uh, you can't really kind of cover the whole bell with it so well. It just isn't gonna get the most even and full sound. So hopefully that gave you something to think about and uh, next time you're playing a gig, if you find yourself in the situation where you've forgotten your uh, plunger mute at home, now you've got a couple options that you can think about real quick uh, to get that effect and you know get something that's gonna sound as good as possible given the circumstances. Sometimes that's what we gotta do. We've gotta improvise and we've gotta make something work. And uh, I found myself there in the past, like I told you earlier, I've seen Wynton Marsalis improvise and uh, you know pick up a, a, a glass and, and really just wail on it. So I knew that it was something that could be done, but uh, I never really saw anyone compare it. So I wanted to do this for you today and uh, show you what some of these different options sounded like. All right, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And also tell me, is there anything that you have used in the past for a plunger mute uh, that I didn't cover? Is there anything that you found that worked really well uh, in a pinch? Let me know in the comments below. I would be really interested to hear from you all. If you enjoy this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the like button while you're at it. it really makes a very big difference. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.